This is my next video on the Harris 5022 and using the uh, remote port on the radio. Uh, you can see a terminal strip I made up that hooks into uh, J5 that brings out uh, the audios both in and out, the control bus, and the data port for the modem. The whole cable goes back to J5 in the back of the radio. Gives you an idea what J5 looks like. We'll go ahead and plug it back in. Now, in this case, I'm actually taking the audio that you're hearing from the speaker in the room from the uh, remote port. We'll go ahead and turn the radio on. Now, this radio has a bad A20 board, so uh, you don't see anything on the control. It just sits there like that. None of the buttons or controls other than turning the radio on and off have any effect on the head. So uh, that's the problem I'm working on on A20. So we'll go over and use the uh, Falcom software. And when it first comes up, it'll tell you that the radio's in SSB mode. What I'm gonna do is enter frequency. So that's just FR and then the frequency, 07850000 and enter. That lets me know that I'm receiving and transmitting on that frequency. Real useful command when you're playing around with the software is the show command. When you enter show, go ahead and display the functions in the radio and what everything's kind of set to right now. There's a bunch of different commands. They're not particularly hard to use. Uh, they're not really case sensitive. Like in this case, I enter power and I'm going to set it in low power. It'll come back and respond. Power is now in low. So we'll turn it back to high. And if you're wondering what all the commands are, there is a help menu. So if you just type in help, it'll print a list of your uh, common commands and what the response usually is to those commands. And there's also an extended help menu, which is help more. Those are the ones for like setting the internal clock, the soft or the password, uh, you know, things like that. A little bit more unusual commands that you don't always use a lot. One of my favorites, test. Test three reports on all the uh, cards that are in the radio and what version firmware each car each card has. We'll go ahead and I disconnect the antenna. Connect up the dummy load. Go over and enter key on, which will turn the transmitter on. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, test, test, test. One, two, three. And then to turn the transmitter off, it's just key off. Well, that goes to show you, even with a bad A20 card and no local control panel, there's a lot you can do with the transceiver just by using the remote port off of J5 in the back of the radio.